Donald Trump receiving his first classified intelligence briefing from career staffers from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, many of whom Trump says he won't retain if he's elected. In fact, he's also pointed out that he doesn't necessarily trust everything that they're telling him, in part because we have learned recently that some of the intelligence provided to the administration was effectively uh, tainted by some rose-colored glasses. Anyway, it was expected to cover major threats and emerging concerns around the world. And just before that briefing, the Republican nominee sat down with national security officials at Trump Tower, and they encouraged Mr. Trump to press for more surveillance and for more information sharing to fight terror threats. One of those advisors is New York Congressman Peter King, the former chairman of the Homeland Security Committee, and he joins me now. Good to see you, Congressman. Trish, always good to be with you. Thank you. So tell us about the meeting. What questions did he have? What advice was given to him? Basically, he wants to uh, be clear on what the best way overseas to defeat ISIS uh, overseas, how to combat it here at home, and also we went into the issue of uh, uh, law and order here at, at home also. And uh, he was very, you know, uh, very much on target. Uh, Rudy Giuliani sort of moderated the meeting, but Donald mm -hmm. Trump clearly ran it. And uh, it's clear that he wants to win the war against ISIS, do whatever has to be done to win it, and not just ISIS, but also Al Qaeda. And uh, here at home, he is supporting the police 100%, which is very different from Hillary Clinton. Oh, we were just uh, we were just talking about that. How she uh, refused to seek. Uh, the police union's endorsement just all together. They, they offered her the opportunity and she said, I'll pass on that one. And, and as Ford O'Connell was explaining, that may have been politically motivated because she didn't want to do anything to uh, perhaps alienate her African-American base. But back to this meeting, I, mm -hmm. I, I'm curious, what, what kind of questions did he have, Congressman? Well, basically, for instance, uh, what's the extent of surveillance that uh, we thought should be carried out? And we had, again, various experts there. You had Michael McKay, the former attorney general. Uh, you had Andy McCarthy, who prosecuted the first World Trade Center case. You obviously had Mayor Giuliani. Uh, you had uh, General Flynn. So he wanted to know, basically, what can be done here at home, but also overseas as to, uh, you know, should we, uh, how clear we, uh, you know, should we be in saying that this is a war? And it really is a war. And that's the important thing he wanted to stress, the, that the American people are tired of basically 15 years where we're not getting the end result, where you have President Obama uh, doing one thing, saying something else, not following through, mm -hmm. sort of being apologetic for the United States. Mm -hmm. Also at Guantanamo, how we shouldn't be releasing prisoners from Guantanamo. Basically, he wants to know the most effective and direct way that we can basically kill the terrorists before they kill us and to you know, let the American people know that it's not going to be business as usual, that he's going to go all out to do what has to be done. Are you surprised at all at Hillary Clinton? I mean, you remember her when she was a senator from New York, yeah. and she seemed a little more hawkish then than she does now. Was that just what she needed to do to get elected in New York? Has no, she changed? It's, it's if, yes, she has. And not just the senator, but also within the, uh, uh, within the administration during the time she was secretary of state. Uh, clearly, there was the impression you know, we used to hear from people inside the administration that uh, uh, Secretary Clinton was the one who was advocating for tougher measures. But once this campaign got going and Bernie Sanders, I guess, started coming at her from the left, she really changed dramatically and drastically. And that's why I have uh, uh, you know, really lost confidence there because you, know, you can always adjust your position somewhat, whether it's on taxes or spending, certain issues like that where there's room for compromise, room for nuance. When you're talking about defending the United States, when you're talking about uh, killing the enemy, when you're talking about w what measures have to be taken, she has de definitely backed away you know, from where mm -hmm. she was uh, when she was Secretary of State. So it just makes you wonder, what does she really believe? And there's no room, there should be no room for doubt when you're talking about national security. Well, thank you so much, Congressman. It is good to see you, as always, sir. Just thank you very much.